Hello, B Squad, and welcome back to another episode of B Girl TV. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to my canal, the YouTube. I am back with another video. It's so crazy because my nose, it looks like everything is like spreading at this point. Maybe it's just me. Um, but I had like te technical difficulties because my other camera is going through um, some issues. It hasn't even been a year yet. Um, so I have to contact Canon. Um, because yeah, so now I'm running along with this big old camera right here, but we're going to get this show on the road. Okay. We're still going to, we're still going to have to make contact and we're still just going to have to do what we have to do regardless of what the situation is with my other camera. but I'm here extra early so I'm just gonna take a nap till he gets here because I'm so tired you'll still see that my eyes are still a little bit black and blue from the fall but it could be worse right I got my stitches taken out with my sidekick next to me that's my queen and now we're going out to eat to celebrate my mom's friend well she's a family friend she has helped me out a lot here in Panama and her birthday was two days ago so my parents they're taking her out to eat so we're going to celebrate her birthday Amir's just there for the food that's all he cares hey, about yeah. y'all see me let me show you guys my stitches how they removed it they gave me some cream that's supposed to work that you put on it the cream was $37 and the thing was like this big okay the tube was this big but it's like made out of silicone supposedly so supposedly i'm not supposed to have any scarring so we shall see if it works one week later anyway guys i am on my way to my doctor's appointment right now um so that's where i'm heading i have a doctor's appointment I also have someone doing my Christmas decoration. So, funny story is, guys, my mom is, like, obsessed with Christmas. I am not obsessed with Christmas decoration. I'm getting into decorations now because Amir is, like, super into, like, holidays. So, she got someone to come do my Christmas decorations for me. Um, so, by the time I come back, decorations should be done. Um, and you guys are going to get to see what my house looks like. Um, I also want to get like four braids put in my hair because I hate combing my hair. So I'm going to see how that goes today. But for right now, we're heading to the doctor's appointment. And uh, yeah, let's go guys.
so guys i literally just got to um the clinic um my appointment is at 10 30 so i literally have 10 minutes oh my god but i wanted to say this because it almost slipped my mind yesterday i was literally like minding my business and i got a cash app for baby Gigi um from let's see kiva shout out to kiva girl um she's actually one of my subscribers she's a subscribed to the channel and i was really really shocked um that someone donated a hundred dollars to my baby um i was like i've never been on the receiving end of of the stick so for me i was like super grateful um and yeah i was crying I don't know if it was like the hormones but i was definitely like super emotional behind it so thank you again i know she dm'd me and i was just like very emotional about it but i just felt so special that someone would do something so nice for my daughter um so again kiva thank you so shout out to kiva um for sending baby Gigi a hundred dollars so i'm gonna use that money towards buying her bassinet um and i know a couple of people have been asking me if i'm gonna have a baby shower if i'm gonna have like a virtual baby shower uh yeah i don't know but <clears throat> one of my subscribers suggested that i'm do like an amazon registry so i'm gonna do that and I'm going to link it in the description box. It's really no obligation. You guys do not have to purchase anything. These are only for the people who keep on asking me if I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Um, so I'm going to leave the, Am the Amazon registry. So if you guys want to get something, it'll be there. It's no pressure. It's not a really a big deal. But anyway, I am getting ready to go upstairs because I literally have like four minutes to get upstairs. Even though when they say 10 30 they mean 11 o'clock so put on my mask my purse So guys, um, why do I look so huge in this picture? Anyway, I came from the doctor's appointment and everything went pretty well. Um, and then I went to go get my hair braided because, you know, I'm just tired of, like, I just don't want to do my hair. So I just got four braids back and because I didn't want to sit all day, sit there all day. Now I'm about to go get something to eat and then I'm going to go buy some more decorations so they can put on my door and that will be it. So let's So this is the Christmas tree here. Okay, let me show you guys. There goes Louis. Just being bad as usual. Good morning, guys. So it is Saturday and I'm up super early because I'm going to actually go get some blood work done. So the difference about um, the labs here in Panama and in the States is that the doctors do their labs um, internally. So if you go to the doctor's office, this is based on my experiences, um, when you go to the doctor's office, the lab is right there. So the nurse will take your blood, they'll take your urine, they'll do all of that. But here is different. So my doctor's office does not have a lab, so everything has to be done separately. So I'm up early because the lab opens at 6, 6.30 or 6.15 right now. Um, so I'm getting ready to go have some blood work drawn. Um, I guess like the regular testing, uh, urine, blood, glucose, all that other stuff. So that's what I'm about to do right now. And then my lips are so dry. And then after that, I'm going to go stop at the grocery store to get um, some stuff to make uh, breakfast for Mr. Amir. So let's go, guys. Oh, let me show you the the, the way they do it. So um, I'm going to cover my information. But 
this is the request or whatever to have everything done um so the test that i'm having done is going to be hemoglobin complete glucose which is uh diabetes urolysis um a culture i don't know what tsh is uh but apparently this is just like standard standard testing or whatever so um that's what i'm about to do now so let's go and i should definitely put on some something on these lips child because these lips is dry and then i'm also gonna go and um i'm going to re-up on my vitamins so these are the vitamins that i'm taking this uh this is the prenatal pill i know someone was asking which prenatal pills that i'm t i'm using this is the prenatal pills that i'm using i've used this when i was pregnant with amir and like i said my cousins use this with their with their um kids and they came out excellent you see it there so i kind of wanted to stick with using this one the only difference is the one that i used before had said with folic acid but if you read the back of it it says that it has uh folic acid so and then my doctor prescribed me this prenatal pill also um it's prenatal um with prenatal dha i did google this and it had really really good reviews the only problem with this is that it's a little expensive to me it's a, a little expensive i think it's like 30 dollars for this bottle and it only comes with 90 uh tablets so and then she prescribed me vitamin d and calcium this is also pretty expensive also i'm not even gonna hold you um and this is only a 30-day tablet and i have to take this from now until the end of my pregnancy so it's expensive but anything for baby girl i feel like my face is widening right now <laughs> everything is like getting wide anyway guys let's go i'm also super hungry so we're gonna go and get this lab work done okay oh yeah so <clears throat> i actually ended up um going to the grocery store after um i got my blood work done and I did a little grocery shop and nothing major. I just got like some chicken and stuff because I'm going to make curry chicken for Amir. Um, and then I bought the boxes of medication. So I'm going to tell you exactly how much it costs. All right. All right. So I ended up having to get a refill on the DHA medica uh, medication, the DHA pill, the DHA pills. And I had to get a refill on this. Okay, so this is only a 30-day supply, um, which is the vitamin D with calcium, and this is a 60-day supply, 90 days, so three months, right? Um, so now that I'm thinking about it, it actually wasn't that much for the for these, but this one is really expensive. Um, so everything came up to 50 dollars, $50, about fifty dollars. This one was thirty-one ninety-three, and this one they sell it um, here in Panama. You don't necessarily have to buy the box. You can buy it per pill. So it's like 69 cents per pill. Um, so 69 times 30, you do the math, you can figure out how much that costs. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, so this is what the, let me show you guys. This is what the vitamin D pill is supposed, you're supposed to take it once to twice um, a day with meals. I'm only taking it once a day. And I got some coconut water. This is what the DHA pill, DHA pill looks like. It's like a little clear gel capsule. And this is what the regular prenatal pills look like. The one I got from Walmart. Um, regular pink pill. So, I ended up getting some coconut water, whole wheat bagel, um, gluten-free jelly for Amir, and I got some sunflowers. How beautiful are these? So yeah, so I'm actually going to wait for Lucy to come. Lucy came back, guys. Okay, if you... 
<clears throat> if you've been following me from day one, you already know who Lucy is. Um, so she's coming. She came back. So I'm waiting for her to come so that she can help me. She will be Gigi's nanny again because she did such a wonderful job with Amir. Um, she'll be Amir's, I mean, Gigi's nanny. And she also comes and she helps me in the house. And everyone knows her. My daughter's father knows her, who is my soon-to-be fiance. Um, soon-to-be husband, I will say. But yeah, he knows her and he feels comfortable with her. Um, being as though he's working right now and it's Christmas. So this is the busy time of the year for him um, so He'd rather her be here. So she should be here in about an hour She's gonna help me out. I'm gonna go back to sleep because I got up super early to go to um, The Lab or whatever and I'm still a little bit tired and then after that I went grocery shopping and I'm like exhausted so i'm gonna go back and take a little nap and then when i wake up we'll be back to vlogging i hope gg gets my dimples i really hope she does anyway we'll be back folks <laughs> <laughs>